now. What's good everybody? So I've been dying to do this video for you guys for a long time. So I've had my native Titan now for about probably two or three months. Um, yeah, it seems about right efficient a couple tournaments so far with it. And I wanted to wait till I really knew the boat and had the boat set up the way that I wanted the boat set up so that I could really give you guys a good shakedown of the way I rigged it and the way the way ultimately I enjoy fishing it. Um, I'm not going to go into in depth of what the Native Titan is all about. There are tons of videos out there right now that go cover it bow to stern. Uh, this is just the way that I have decided to rig mine out. Now understand it's an evolving process. Every day I'm thinking about things that could make life a little bit different, better, and whatever, but Today, right now, this is the way my Titan's rigged out. All right, let's run it from stern to bow. So, um, as you can see, I do have the Boondocks landing gear. Um, with the native Titan, that's a must have. I, I, I couldn't even imagine trying to, to load this boat or do anything with this boat without it. Um, it has absolutely made it so that I can fish this boat by myself and not need a second person to help me load and unload the boat. Uh, I do run the black pack. Um, as you can see here, let me move around to the other side. I do keep a Yak Attack stakeout pole. Um, now, these little pockets here on the side were designed for um, being able to put plano boxes in. What I've learned is just a good place to keep my tools. So I keep my lip grips, uh, two pairs of pliers, a pair of nips, sunflower seeds, of course. Um, it's just an easy place because they're always there on the right hand side of my boat or right hand side of my seat. So every time I go looking for them, I know they're there. Um, you do carry a net, it's just a cheap folding net. Um, something I'm definitely looking to upgrade as time goes on, but something I definitely will always have on the boat with me. Um, as you can see under the seat tons of storage under there and that's something that is one of the definite proponents of the pro or the Titan um, so what I ended up doing is instead of carrying my soft plastics in my black pack I just broke them down to those two dollar plastic containers and I keep them right under the right under the seat so I always know where they're at uh, obviously a hog trough and conveniently the thing just lays right there under my paddle and just makes life easy now i did add a yak attack cup holder there's a cup holder on the other side that comes on the boat um well ultimately what this one ends up doing is this one stores anything that was in my pockets <laughs> my phone so on and so forth drops in here and my drinks go on the other side now i still run at this moment you'll see up here uh, the ram mount with the transducer. I am still running the Raymarine Y fish, which is a Wi Fi based fish finder. Um, and then I use my iPad as the screen and it's connected to Navionics. So I get basic sonar, down imaging. It's definitely something I'm looking to upgrade, um, but right now works and I can take that from boat to boat. Up here in the front bow, I really don't do much with it. Um, you can see I have a toolbox. Well, maybe you can't see the lights, probably not the best. I have my battery pack, and there's the Ray Marine Wee Fish. So, uh, other than that, I mean, the boat's pretty much just like any of my other boats. You know, I do have some odds and ends that I keep around. Um, I always carry a pair of scissors that's over here on the tool side. I keep my lip grips tethered. Um, that's for another video at this point in time. Uh, that was my makeshift camera arm there. Uh, that's not going to work. So stay tuned. Another video coming. Oh, here's a here's an interesting thing, and I'll probably close out with this. Is that right there is the top of the propel unit? You've probably seen a lot of people use that to put an X grip, kind of like what my iPad's on, or put something else on. I did the same thing and put a ball in, but I put a ram mount um, rod holder. And so when I'm standing up in the boat and paddling, if I need to paddle, I can lay that rod right down in front of me. It really works when I'm deep into the pad and so on and so forth. So 
when I'm not using it, I can use it just to store net or whatever I need it for. Well, that's my native Titan and the way it is set up currently. I hope you enjoyed that quick little video about the way that I've chosen to rig out my Titan. Um, stay tuned. I got a couple great ideas. I want to do a video about five things I hate and five things I love about the Titan. So there's definitely some things that flirt both sides of that line. But hey, drop a comment below if you have a Titan. Let me know. And let me if you don't, let me know what you got or what you're looking to get. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much and God bless.